last episode, you will able to learn about plate tectonics based on the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and mountain ranges. Specifically, you learn that plates are in constant motion, and as they interact along their margins, important geologic processes takes place, such as the formation of mountain ranges, active volcanoes, and earthquake epicenter. Take note, where there are earthquakes, crust can either meet or move apart and forms mountains and volcanoes. Also, we explored the Philippines is situated in a place where plate tectonics are very evident, the Ring of Fire. And remember, it is a long chain of volcanoes and other tectonically active structures that surrounds the Pacific Ocean. So there, I am pretty sure that you remember it well. Now, let's have a short game. First, kindly prepare the following materials. Pencil or pen and a piece of paper. For this activity, I am going to show you a word search puzzle. You are only given 30 seconds to search and write the word as fast as you can. You will get one point for every correct answer. If you collect all five, an awesome badge will be given to you. Are you ready? Let's play Word Search Challenge. Time is up. Let's check your answer. These are the mystery words of the puzzle. Plates. Convection. Epicenter. Ring of fire. And volcanism. How many words were you able to find? Well done. If you got five points, you just earned your awesome bunch. And now, kindly get yourself learning module. For this activity, you will need the following materials. A separate piece of paper, a pencil or pen, and the Philippine geographic or political map. Now that you are all set, let's perform enrichment activity titled Rethink the Risk. Are you ready? Let's begin. First, look at the Philippine political map. You learn in your previous science explorations a political map helps in identifying the important locations of the Philippines. This map illustrates the provinces and chartered cities' boundaries with their capitals and national capital. Right now, I am in Rizal Province, situated in Luzon, located in the Calabarzon region. Did you know that Rizal Province is also known as the Cradle of Philippine Art? It is named in honor of the Philippine national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal. It is known for its artists, communities, and folk festivals. Rizal also dotted with beautiful man-made and natural tourist spots. Rich in history and culture, it is famous for its museums and heritage churches. Being a mountainous province, its waterfalls, caves, and resorts are famous destination among locals and tourists. One of those is the Wawa Dam. It is one of the oldest dams in the Philippines and the only source of water for Manila until Angat Dam was built. Today, it is one of the famous destination for locals and tourists to relax in the cottages below and above the dam. Other thing to do is to spelunking in Pamitinan Cave or go mountain climbing in Mount Pamitinan. Looking at the Philippine map, I am in Region 4A or Calabarzon. Calabarzon is formally known as the Southern Tagalog Mainland. It is an administrative region in the Philippines designated as Region 4A. It comprises five provinces, Cavite, Laguna, 
Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. Did you know that according to Philippine Statistics Authority or PSA, there are over 14.4 million inhabitants in Calabarzon in 2020? It is the second most densely populated after the National Capital Region. Can you also pin can you also pinpoint where you are right now? Awesome! Please share your city, provinces, and region by posting a famous landmark or tourist destination that your place is known for. Facebook using hashtag certified wonder traveling. And now, take a look and study these hazard maps. If we say hazard maps, what will it show? These hazard maps will show you the areas in our country that are affected by, grown, or vulnerable to a particular hazard or natural disasters. Hazard maps that show geophysical hazards like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and tsunamis are also termed as geophysical hazard maps. Also, it is important to take note and familiarize the legend found in each map. A line means the provincial boundary between two locations and the risk of an area to a certain hazard or a particular natural disaster is categorized into four. High, medium, low, and no risk. Take note of these legends as you explore the geophysical hazard maps. Got it? Great! And now, let us explore the hazard maps one by one. This map will show you the areas that are prone or vulnerable to earthquakes. Wait! The ground is shaking! We'll just experience an earthquake! That's exactly what you feel when there is an earthquake. Since 1968, FIVOX or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has recorded 12 destructive earthquakes in the Philippines. As you have learned from your previous grade, earthquakes are natural geologic phenomena caused by the sudden and rapid movement of large volume of rock. The violent shaking and destruction caused by earthquakes are the result of the rupture and slippage along fractures of Earth's crust called faults. Seismology is the study of earthquakes and seismic waves that move through and around the Earth. What happens when earthquake starts? The sudden release of energy from an earthquake sends out several different shaking movements or seismic waves. A seismologist is a scientist who studies earthquakes and seismic waves. Earthquake radiates seismic energy as both body and surface waves. The first kind of body wave is the P wave or primary wave. P wave is also known as compressional waves because of the pushing and pulling they do. The second kind is S waves or secondary waves, which is the second wave you feel in an earthquake. 
S waves can move through solid rocks, not through any liquid medium. It is this property of S waves that led seismologists to conclude that the Earth's outer core is liquid. S waves move through rock particles in an up and down or side to side or perpendicular to the direction that the wave is traveling in and finally traveling only through crust. Surface wave also has a lower frequency than body waves and are easily distinguished on a seismogram. Though they arrive after P wave, it is surface waves that are almost entirely responsible for the damage and destruction associated with earthquakes. Great and wonders, how are you so far? Don't forget to take note of the important details in a piece of paper. Remember that by taking down notes, you can easily remember our lesson. Now, let's have a simple experiment to demonstrate the motion of primary and secondary waves using a slinky. I encourage you to try this at home with your nana and tatay, ate, or kuya. So to start, hold one end of a slinky while the opposite end is tied onto the hook or in a fixed wall. Take note, don't pull the slinky too tight. Then, push the end of the slinky in one quick motion without letting go of the slinky. What did you see? When you push the end of the slinky towards the other end in one quick motion, it created waves similar to primary waves moving back and forth along the slinky. Primary waves are consist of a compressional or shortening motion and a dilation or expanding motion that both lie along a line. Now, try to quickly jiggle up and down from side to side once without letting go of the slinky. What did you see? When you jiggled the end of the slinky towards the other end in one quick motion, it created waves similar to secondary waves moving along a slinky. Secondary waves moves in a direction perpendicular to the direction that the energy is traveling in or perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation. Great and wonders, I hope you enjoy doing this activity at home with your family. According to the Manila Observatory and Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the mapping of the Philippine vulnerability to environmental disasters, seismicity, or geographic and historical distribution of earthquake events is all over the country except in the Palawan region. As shown in this figure, these are the top 10 provinces that are at risk to earthquakes. Surigao del Sur, La Union, Benguet, Pangasinan, Pampanga, Tarlac, Ifugao, Davao Oriental, Nueva Vizcaya, and Nueva Ecija. La Union and Pangasinan are prone to earthquakes, especially the deep focus ones due to the Manila Trench, while Surigao del Sur and Davao Oriental have earthquakes hazard due to the Philippine Trench and nearby active faults. So there, you have just learned about earthquakes as natural geological phenomena as a result of the rupture and slippage along fractures of Earth's crust called faults. And now, challenge yourself to do this five-item quiz. I will read the question and choices once. You're only given five seconds to write the letter of the correct answer for each question. You will be given one point score for every correct answer. Are you ready? Great and wonders, let's begin. Question number one. Which of the seismic waves travels the fastest? A, instant waves. B, primary waves. C, secondary waves. D, surface waves. The correct answer is letter B, primary waves. 
Question number two. What seismic waves moves in a direction perpendicular to the direction that the energy is traveling? A. Instant waves. B. Primary waves. C. Secondary waves. D. Surface waves. The correct answer is letter C. Secondary waves. Question number three. What starting point is to be traced to locate the epicenter of an earthquake? A. First P waves and the first S waves. B. Second P waves and the second S waves. C. Third P waves and the third S waves. D. Fourth P wave and the fourth S waves. The correct answer is letter A, first P waves and the first S waves. Question number four. Based on the geographical hazard maps, what is the safest place in the country due to its very low risk in geologic disasters like earthquake? A, Batanes. B, Isabela. C, Palawan. D, Romblon. The correct answer is letter C, Palawan. Question number five. Why is Philippines prone to experience earthquake? A, it is within the Pacific Ring of Fire. B, Pacific Ocean causes daily shaking. C, it has plenty of stored energy in the crust. D, the Philippines is in a tropical area. The correct answer is letter A. It is within the Pacific Ring of Fire. Very well done, Great Ten Wonders. I am happy that you were able to challenge yourself to do the pop quiz. How many scores have you collected? For all the effort that you do, I will give you another awesome badge. As Great Ten Wonders, it is important that you are aware of the natural hazards such as earthquakes to prepare yourselves and demonstrate the ways to ensure preparedness when disasters happen. Remember, the key to effective disaster prevention is planning. For your assignment, create a preparedness plan that we should do before, during, and after an earthquake using your TikTok account. Spread awareness and save lives using social media platforms. Share your earthquake preparedness plan to the online world and use hashtag WonderReady. You did well today, Great Ten Wonders. I am excited to see all your outputs. And that ends our Wonder Adventures for today. But don't worry, more science videos are coming your way. Always remember... Science is fun for everyone. This has been your Wonder Teacher, Ma'am Joffe. See you next time for another episode of Fun Wonder Adventures, only here at Ma'am Joffe Science Videos. <laughs>